Okay, just wanted to talk about a couple things about the perpetual motion doubles. Okay, so if you play down here towards the, the frog, that'll give you a little bit more stickiness and make sure your bow is, is at least, here in the middle, at least the thickness of the stick in this space, okay? So the space should be the same as the, the thickness of the stick. Okay, so. You see that sticky, sort of sticky sound? Grippy, like you can see, I'm pulling here. I pull on the string without it releasing, and then it grabs. And it finally releases and then vibrates. And you can also see how it's kind of my hand. You see how this that my fingers are kind of flexible, like this. That probably the easiest way to practice this. This is like a cole, we call a cole motion. The easiest way to practice this is actually with a pencil or a pen, right? You hold a pencil and you pull it, you stick your fingers out straight, and then you pull your pinky up and collapse it, or, or not collapse it, but bend it all the way to the hand, right? And it kind of pushes the thumb up, everything up. And then back down, up, back down, up, like so. Okay, so this is called cole, and that's going to help your fingers to get more of this sort of relaxed, jiggly thing going on. Okay, now also look, listen to this if I'm playing down here, down closer to the bridge. So you can see I'm, I don't know, maybe about the bottom third. I don't know, the sound isn't that good to me. If I go down here, it's a little too fluffy. It sound, sounds not um, connected enough. But if I'm somewhere in between, so there's that fluffy sound. That sounds pretty good. Right here. And each tell is a little bit different, so you kind of have to experiment with it and see what's the best sound. And you can see I'm tilting my bow slightly toward me, just slightly, not too much, but right in here. And you can experiment with that too, like here's completely flat, right? It's a little too grippy for me. Uh, if I tilt it too much, it's not grabbing enough, so not enough hair, so somewhere in between. <laughs> I like that. You know, this is too far one way, too far the other. It's like polar opposites here, and then somewhere in between is good. Same thing with this. This is, this is too grippy, not enough, so somewhere in between. So, okay, ready, go. <laughs> And I like to really grab. Try to lean into the top of the phrases. So the top of the phrase. I'm my little four-year-old, five-year-old, five-year-old knocking on the window. Oh, I'm doing a recording. Okay, here we go. And the phrase. And the bottom. Climbing. Start at the bottom. And the One long bow at the end. So long bow at the end. Now here's the um, the uh, harmony. If you'd like to learn that, okay, you just have to learn it by ear. But it's oh
you do that, if you're going, da, 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 it would be, da, 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 da. I don't know if I can do this. Da, 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 da. sing one part and play the other. But uh, what you could do is play your melody with the harmony that I just played. Um, if you don't want to learn it yourself and play over yourself. And so it, that would be fun. It sounds really cool together. Um, okay, so to, to um, quickly go through what we've done, we're working on this kind of... This relaxed sort of hand motion. It's almost like your your fingers are uh, like shock absorbers or something. Uh, and and when you do this, you can go really fast. If you're doing it like so, you'll get tired very quickly. So. You can go so fast if you use it. This sort of method, where it's just the fingers. Right? It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. But to start off with, use that pencil and work on that cole motion. Okay? Have fun.